It's time to be creative in 3D and virtual reality, VR. It's time for Unity. Challenge. Unit 1 has a challenge. Challenge 1, plane programming. Challenge overview. Use the skills you've learned in this driving simulation to fly a plane around obstacles in the sky. You will have to get you will have to get the user's input from the up and down arrows in order to control the plane's pitch up and down. You will also have to make the camera follow alongside the plane so you can keep it in view. Challenge outcome. The plane moves forward at a constant rate. The up-down arrows hit the nose of the plane up and down. The camera follows along beside the plane as it flies. So again, these follow these videos. Let's watch the challenge overview. Welcome to your very first challenge. In these challenges, you'll be given a new project, but it will be filled with bugs that you'll have to fix and missing features that you'll have to implement. The goal here is to take the skills you learn in the unit and put them to the test in a different environment. For example, in the first unit, you learn to program a car that could drive down a road. In this challenge though, you're not going to program a car, you'll program a plane. And this plane is going to come with all kinds of issues. It flies backwards instead of forwards. You can't steer it and it goes like a million miles an hour just in circles. It's basically a nightmare and you are in charge of fixing it. Don't worry though, if you think about it, the programming required to steer a plane is not too different from the programming you did to steer that car. You know how to make objects move forward. You know how to rotate them based on user input. That's pretty much all you'll need to know to program this plane. Plus, you can always reference the code from your prototype. And we've also provided you with some helpful hints if you get stuck. In addition to the main challenges, you'll also have the option of completing bonus challenges. These bonus challenges require you to go just a bit above and beyond what you learned in the unit and apply your skills in completely new ways. You may even have to do a bit of online research to figure these out. So if you do complete a bonus challenge, you should give yourself a pat on the back. Now, during these challenges, you may be tempted to throw up your hands and quit. They're not easy, but my advice, don't give up. If you take the time to troubleshoot the issues and work through these challenges, your unity and programming skills will be at a new level when you get to the other side. So to make all that happen, I'll see you in Unity. So there you have it. Let's watch the challenge one overview. Welcome to challenge one. Now, if you remember in our first project that we made, we added a lot of functionality to our project with this vehicle that can drive forward and these boxes that have physics and collisions in it and we can fully control this vehicle turning it left and right driving it forwards driving it backwards so for our first challenge you can see that we have this plane flying game and if i use the arrow keys i can control it going up and down our plane is flying forwards at a nice consistent speed we have our camera over on this nice side view so we can see our plane flying around and we can fly through all these obstacles and we're following the plane really nicely. So this is what our challenge should look like by the end. And this is what our project looks like now. Oh my gosh, the plane just flew straight backwards. It's like. It just keeps going incredibly fast. That's far too fast for us to be able to do anything. Oh my gosh, just flying straight up all the way directly into the air. Well, that's not good. Can I even control this? No, that's really frustrating. For some reason, our camera also has this weird front view and it doesn't even look like we're following the plane at all. I don't even know where the plane is, it's just, it's gone. 
Now you can see on the challenge page, if we scroll to the steps below this video, you can actually see the different problems that are inside of that project that we just had. The first problem is that the plane is going backwards. And so there are little prompts to help you think about what to fix. In this case, making the plane go forwards. Another problem with the plane is that it's going too fast. So we'll need to slow down the plane to a manageable speed. Another big issue that we had is that the plane is tilting automatically. And so we'll need to make it so that the plane can only tilt if the user presses the up or down arrow keys. There were a couple of other problems too. With the camera, it's placed in front of the plane, and so we'll need to reposition it so that it's beside the plane. Another problem was that the camera was not following the plane, so we'll need to make it so the camera follows along as the player flies it. In addition, we've added a bonus step that you can try. In this case, the plane's propeller does not spin. So you'll need to create a new script that spins the plane's propeller. If you do get stuck along the way, there is a whole section for hints for each of the different problems. So that way you can see if you get stuck on any specific problem along the way, we provided a suggested way that you can try to fix it. In addition to our main problems with our project, we've also added in bonus challenge problems that you can try and solve to see what you understand about Unity and push your knowledge just a little bit further. So in our completed project, you can see if I press play, and then I'll just pause this game really quick. And then actually, if I go focus in on the player, get it to the side, I'm going to step through. And if you watch the propeller, you'll see that the propeller actually rotates as the game is playing. So it's a cool, fun little feature that you can try and do yourself. The bonus challenges are designed to be a bit more difficult than what you know and understand. There are hints that help you along the way in case you want to give it a try and see what you can do. In addition, if you do get stuck, feel free to use the internet. There are so many different resources that you can use just looking it up on Google. So for example, if I want to figure out how I can make an object rotate in Unity, there's a little tutorial that you could do for spinning a cube that's very similar. Somebody asked a question on Stack Overflow about rotating an object that might have some good advice on how you should approach it. This is kind of an interesting one. How do I rotate an object around its center in a script? Very similar to what you're trying to do. In addition, these challenges are also a great opportunity to take a look at the documentation. So here is actually the documentation about how transform.rotate works. That goes in depth about all the different ways that you can use the rotate tool and the rotate method. It even has some examples that you can take a look at. So if you want to see different ways that you can rotate something, it's a good place to go. And you can also see all the other different options. For example, vector three, of all the different vector threes that you could potentially use. So that way you can start digging a little bit more into all the different ways that you can use all the different methods and the different classes in Unity to be able to create your projects. In our starter project, you can see that when I press play and hopefully if I can pause really fast, all right, I hope our player are out in the distance. So I'm just going to focus in. So you can see if I step through, hopefully the plane stays in view. The propeller is never actually moving. So that's a problem. Now, if you do get stuck inside of your challenge folder, there's a set of instructions that you can use. And inside of the instructions, if we click on the challenge one outcome, and in fact, in our inspector, you can see this little gray bar down here. And if we actually just drag this up by clicking on that gray bar, you can see there's actually this little video. And if you press the play button, you can see exactly how we were trying to make our plane and our game work before. Now, a lot of the things we were trying to do before are very similar to how we set up our initial project that we made, our prototype one. So if you ever 
get confused or get lost, you can feel free to reference your prototype, take a look at your scripts, see the different things that we set up in our scripts to understand what's going wrong inside of our challenges. Another really helpful thing in our challenges is in the scripts folder. All the scripts actually have an X at the end of the name. So that way you know that this is our challenge script versus the names of the scripts that we had before. To get started, you can either download the challenge assets from the asset store, or you can use the direct download link on the challenge page. If you click the direct download link, it will prompt you to download your challenge file. And then if you want to add that asset package to your project, you can go to the top left of Unity, click the Assets button, Import Package, Custom Package, which will then bring up your File Explorer, and then just go to the folder where you have that package saved, click on it, click Open, Click on the import button when it gives you the prompt on the window and it will download that package to your project. So get started on your first challenge and good luck. You can see here's part three. This is what you're doing on your own. Make the plane go by itself. The plane is going too fast. Slow the plane down to manageable speed. The plane is tilting. Automatically, the plane tilts only when the user presses the up-down arrows. The camera is in front of the plane. Reposition it. So you're completing each of these steps to complete the challenge. At the very bottom, there are some hints. Once you complete this assignment, don't forget to save it and then turn it into your teacher.